So I kept getting my butt handed to me in Minecraft Hardcore Survival, so I'm gonna play something entirely different in Bedrock version. The Aether Dimension, as available on the Bedrock Marketplace. I have heard about the Aether since probably before you were even born, if you're watching this, unless you're 65 years old, in which, no. But, the Aether is a, a realm that's been around in Minecraft for an incredibly, incredibly long time that I guess just now made it into a, a mod in Bedrock version or, or a pack in Bedrock version, whatever you want to call it. So it's a realm that is not the Nether or the End. It is the Aether. It's something entirely different. So I'm going to take a look at what it is basically right here. Uh, the legacy of this portal, a glowstone portal that is lit via water, is very, very... Uh, it is a long legacy to it. So, gonna take a look at this and everything else it has to offer. My name is Brian Saviano, Bricks O'Brien. Can I not read this? Okay, so that's the Aether. Um, I, I would, I thought you would have to make the whole portal, but I guess this is kind of rigged in the sense that, yes, you can have your own survival world and whatnot, but no matter what, this is the Aether. Uh, this, I believe, was a free download as a part of the New Year celebration for Minecraft. You could probably get it now anyway. So, the book says nothing. No knowledge, no power for you. But I'm going to go into the ether regardless. And, whoa, that's a very weird dimensional twist to the whole thing. And, whoa, baby, there we go. Well, hello. A hostile paradise is what this is. Cool. Oh, there's all speech bubbles and stuff, too. Seems like you explored quite the distance. Adventure, you must have so many questions. Come find me nearby a village or buy or sell your goods during your adventure. Safe travels. The Aether awaits you. So everything is breakable here. This is a normal survival world, as far as I can tell. I can go back to the main overworld as uh, much as I want to. What I'm curious about is where exactly the Aether is. Because it's I'm assuming it's not another dimension, technically. It's just another location on this map. So I don't believe it's a infinite Minecraft map. I don't really know. But I'm curious, once we are done exploring the vast majority of this area, what it has in store. And it's also, I believe, not procedurally generated, just like it would be in the Aether mod before. Um, all sorts of new creatures, new, maybe not new materials. We could take a look at what this is here. What's this technically? Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's a whole, oh. So it's a whole adventure map. So the way that the ether worked before, aether? Not aether. It would be like a whole randomly generated world, like in Minecraft, like a general Minecraft map. But this, this is more so what I thought it was. Um, by the way, my name is Brian Saviano Bricks O'Brien. Hello. I hope you're doing as well as you possibly can, given the circumstances of your world and the world around you. This light doesn't work over here, so you're gonna get a, a half dimly litted, lit, litted, litted, litsy bricks O'Brien. That's what you're gonna get. Uh, maybe this is above the, what? Fast as flash? Oh, I go faster on sand. That's cool. Uh, maybe this is technically in the sky. Oh my, what the ever -laya. Okay. Well. Okay. I'm gonna leave. Um, yeah, maybe it's just in the sky. I don't know where this place actually is, but I know that this is a village of some kind, or at least a hub or something. Oh, that's the way that I can get back. Gotcha. Oh, that thing. You look like a flying koi fish. I'm gonna die. Nice. Hold on. Okay. Before I get out of here, um, w where do I go? What do I do? Uh, there is allegedly... Okay. So if I'm in the hub, it, it doesn't have like a marker, right? It doesn't show me where exactly to go. But I'm assuming there's a monument... Uh, wait. If I'm in the middle, like, like in the absolute middle, then I gotta go behind me. Which is technically this way, I think. So I don't know how I'm gonna avoid these massive koi fish. Uh, maybe I need to be in the actual over- I think I see a village over there. I think I need to be in the overworld and actually prepare before I get over here, which is kind of surprising that they, they kind of encourage you to do that. 
Uh, Highlands discovered. That's nice. Well, I'm not getting chased. That's good. It's about to be sunset, though, so that's not good. Let me get some stuff here. Is this wood any different from the other wood? Let's take a look. This is the Skyroot Log. So technically, this is a different material than your standard wood that you would see in the overworld. So that is spicy. It's interesting. It's different. So that's the benefit of having the, the Aether, not Aether. It's not called Aether. It's called Aether. The Aether is that there's different mobs and whatnot that basically... Minecraft has kind of toyed with the idea for a very long time. I feel like people have wanted it. What on earth are you? I'm going to avoid you. Socially distance away from that. Um, Minecraft has kind of toyed with it for a very long time. The idea of doing a different sort of realm of some kind. But they never really did it. So there's only been the three realms really for a super, super long time. The Nether, the End, and the Standard Overworld. So... Maybe one of the days they'll have the, the Aether. Oh, I thought that was gonna, not going to be a jinx. Basically, that's what that is, is a jinx. Okay. I didn't want to die, really. I really didn't want to die. Okay, I guess I am. So I clearly have to prepare a little bit here to go into the Aether, at least with some iron. So I guess I'm starting a fresh, spicy survival world before we continue into here. So instead of, uh, uh, you know what? I'm just going to get the iron and stuff. The highlight is the aether. So let me get the iron and do all the standard stuff, I guess. Okay, so you know what? It looks like the same sort of overworld in terms of the properties, like the values. It's still nighttime. It's rainy. So it's not in some pie in the sky realm. Not technically. I don't know what baddies are lurking out there. I lost my map. Oh, you gotta love that, don't you? All right. Instead of doing the, the thing that I'm supposed to do the right way, I'm just gonna keep on winging it. I believe I went over toward this way. Yes, that looks very familiar. So right over where the chest was, was where I died. I need that map. If I don't have that map, this is gonna be a very bad time and I'm not gonna enjoy myself. So I need to find that map no matter what and hopefully not get struck by lightning all along the way. I see that torch over there, which I would like to assume is a beacon of hope for me. There's the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. All right. Um, okay. So I can't go over toward that torch, which is stellar. There's another. What is that? What is that? Oh, there's coal. Okay, so there's stuff around here. That's cool. All right. So let me get some sky root over here. And, um... What should I do? I should probably just make stuff, right? I should probably just get digging. Ooh, that's dirt. Okay. This is the equivalent of dirt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trap myself in here and hopefully just keep mining and not die. I don't have any sort of hunger or replenishment, rather. So I'm just going to keep on winging it. The overall light level of this world is pretty good. So I'm not necessarily stuck um, totally in the dark. That is excellent. Good. All right. So if I take this crafting table, I'm going to toss this right here and make... Ooh, should I be able to make one of these? No. What do you mean I can't make something out of this? Really? That's kind of disappointing. All right. What about this? Is this regular... Regular old... Uh... Hello? Go. Okay. I was going to say, like, what? That's regular coal. Okay. Okay. But the cobblestone is like, ah, you know what? We're not going to work. Regular cobblestone? Nah. Arrow cobblestone, also not going to work. So looks like I can't make anything uh, function out of that, which is stellar. That's fantastic. Maybe instead of doing the element, like searching for iron and whatnot, like whatever the equivalency of iron is, I really thought I would find something around here, but clearly I'm not. That looks like copper over there. I see some redstone. I see some, uh, uh, that looks like gold over there. So you know what? If I try going over here, what's going to happen? Okay, I see the chest. I see that. I understand that. I want to know what this is over here. See this thing? Oh, wait. I nearly just fell off because I almost, what did I equip? Oh, I didn't equip anything. It sounded like I equipped something, but I nearly fell. Oh, I was holding shift. 
Oh, that's kind of spicy. I have feather falling all the way down. Wow, okay. So this is a pretty in-depth sort of system, the way that all this functions. All right. So it's not just a simple, uh, I wonder how that happened. It's not just a, another, I mean, it is another, mm, I don't know how this functions. I'm very, very curious. But if I fall down, that's a good way for me to escape. But I'll still fall away super far away from where the actual entrance is. So it doesn't necessarily benefit me to just abandon ship constantly, right? I still need to go about whatever I'm doing strategically and get to where I need to go. But luckily now, I don't need to uh, find the map again. I just kind of bailed. So, the smart thing for me to do was, yes, I need to actually build a home around here first. So I'm going to build it into the portal and continue the way that I should have the first time. I'm just getting really ahead of myself, because I want to explore it. Okay, cool. Oh, you can't break the portal. Oh, okay. I get you. So you can't break the portal. That's smart. Well, I wonder if I go to the nether and I try to get glowstone to make it. Uh, it probably won't work, actually. Nah, probably not. Okay, so long story short, I do have iron armor as well as an iron sword to go up against whatever that thing is over here. So, this is the idea. I don't know what... Cow. Cow? Oh, what? I don't know what that cow does. Oh. It's an ox? Okay, but it looks like, yes, you can give me food. Good. A cow wolf meat. Sure. All right. So I see some butterflies around here. I don't know what they do, but they look a little uh, appetizing here. Hello, butterflies. Butterflies? There we go. What do these things do? Cloud feather? I don't know. Whatever. So, okay. Oh, you. You. I see you. Come on. You have the properties of a phantom. You're like a daytime phantom, everyone's favorite. Okay, I'm gonna go again, back to where I was before, and hopefully not get knocked off or anything else like that, okay? The main gist of what I'm doing is exploring this realm. I don't wanna take super long harvesting all these resources and doing all these things. I wanna show you every little bit of the ether, e aether, the aether in what it has to offer, not the ether. So if I'm going over here, um, it looks like I'm actually going the wrong way. Going the wrong way. I want to go down to wherever that... I want to go down to wherever that giant area is. You see kind of this castle-looking thing? That's where I want to be. That's what I want to do. And these things even do that much more damage. Oh, so I see... You see the clouds up top? So the clouds up top, that technically means that we are on the same sort of level as we were in the overworld. So, this must just be like a different location that I'm technically in and exploring right now. I don't know where, but I want, like, what I'm assuming is after you go off of this, this Aether area, then eventually you're gonna find the regular Minecraft world with the same sort of, uh, functionalities and whatnot. But that's just what I'm assuming. So, I wonder if there's also bosses and whatnot too. I believe there are. And I also believe that there's going to be different properties and elemental swords and whatnot, which would be very nice. Here we go. These are the villagers I wanted to talk to. These people around here. All right, cool. Hello? Nothing? You have nothing. Okay, cool. Awesome. Who are the individual villagers I can talk to? They're very nicely laid out. It's very nice. No? Nothing? Hello? No? They, these people just don't care. Uh, anybody? Can I talk to anybody about anything around here? Farmers? No. No bum 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 bum. Hello? No? Everyone's super silent. No one actually cares. All right. Well, there's a tower over there. Whatever that's supposed to do, that's a thing. Now, you look different. Come here. You Can you help me? Anything? No? Wow. No one cares. Nobody cares at all. And magically, there goes all of the rain. Stellar. All right, so, mountainside, there's... Is that where we just started off? I don't know. There's also... I don't even know where to go. I don't know what I'm doing. 
going to go over here. This giant sky pillar over here. This looks kind of spicy. Uh, oh, that's very... That looks very ominous, actually. And that looks like a forest over there. I can't, I can't even tell where I am. I am... In the, the the mountains are over here. There's I, yeah I can't really oh there's a sky thing. Uh, you mean a, a zeppelin, Brian? That's technically what that is. Do I want to go? That looks like a witch's tower. I'm kind of down. You know what I mean? I'm just kind of I'm kind of here for it. You know. So what's the best strategy to get over there? I need to go all the way around. All right, I'm going to the witch's tower in the middle. It is decided, and I need to bridge the gap. From area to area. I got lapis lazuli over here, redstone. I'm going to make a intertwining, interdimensional bridge system. Ergo, the end. And make my way over to where I need to, alright? Nothing is near me. I am good. I should be okay. Having iron armor and an iron sword. I probably should have crafted a shield, but we are long since past that point, alright? I have the Forgotten Discovered. Well, they are certainly not forgotten anymore. You are a scam. You are a scam. You are trying to steal my bank account information, and I don't appreciate you trying to call me about my car's extended warranty. There we go. All right, so if I try to destroy this thing, I get an air coin. And also whatever this is. This is a piled sticks, which judging by the sound of what that is, I'm assuming it functions the same way as scaffolding. Let's see if I'm correct. Hold on. Yes, I am correct. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Nope, I'm incorrect. All right, it doesn't actually do anything. Never mind. I thought it would be a little bit more uh, beneficial, but it turns out it's not. Wonderful. All right, this tower over here, that looks spoopy. Very, very spoopy. All right, let's hope I don't get knocked out of the air by anything conspicuous. Let's hope not. Uh, am I gonna make that? What is that? What's this? What's this? What's everything everywhere? What's this? What's this? Just, I, I think that, that creature, whatever that creature, ooh, what are you? A villager all the way over here? Oh, all right. Whatever that creature was before, it looked like it was something that was not going to follow me literally everywhere, maybe metaphysically everywhere, but not literally everywhere. Yeah, here we go. There's a little something. All right. I got to the Magnetic Isles. Magnetism? All right, that's fine. Um, I saw something attached here. Uh, is this magnets? What does magnets have to do with anything? What is this? I feel like Jack Skellington. Uh, it's the ice in the bottle again. I thought like ice, sh like like glass shattered next to me. I'm like, Whoa. what's that? Oh my goodness. When I didn't know what world I'm in, I'm like, oh, I don't know what everything is, you know? Okay. Before, oh, there's all sorts of stuff. Okay. This is totally not gonna cut it. Huh? Pirates? You look like pirates. Okay, I'm gonna get a lot of money out of you. That's cool. But these things here, these spawners. I can take them out in a reasonable amount of time. Nice. Cool. Awesome. 